Here's my US patent for the six gun oil cap. I received it April 24th, 2001. I had applied for it uh, quite a few years before that. But I know there's a lot of discrepancy as to the origin of these parts, but, um, but yeah, it was me. Fun little soft tail project here. See my soft tail oil caps leaking a lot of oil, running all over the back of the bike. I have one of my six gun oil caps here. It's one of the last ones I have from my old collection of parts, but this is for a twin cam. It's too big for my Evo. You see it won't fit in there. So I'm gonna turn this down on the lathe put a dipstick on it and um, make this twin cam cap fit my Evo bad boy. I'm gonna turn this oil cap down to about 1.2 inch outside diameter in my south bend lane. That's my auto feed lever. And the screw starts feeding that dial and you can see it starts going in and cutting my part. All right, there's my finished diameter cut. I'm gonna drill and tap the end of this to hold a quarter inch bolt, which is gonna be my dipstick. But before I drill it and tap it, I'm gonna drill it with a center drill and put a live center in it to hold it so I can cut these grooves deeper for the air rings. Here's my center drill in the tailstock of my lathe. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the chuck on. And just crank that bit in. As I pull that center drill out, you can see there's a conical bore in there, and that's where my live center is going to ride to hold my part steady while I cut those grooves for the O-rings. So this is my live center that's in the tailstock, and they call it live center because take a look at this. As I rotate the part, the center is live. It rotates with the part. It's going to allow my part to rotate without trying to be deflected by the cutting force of my tool. Now with my parting bit, I'm going to go ahead and cut these grooves for the O-rings a little deeper. It's a 1 8 inch groove and it's a 1 8 inch parting bit, so it's gonna give me a nice clean cut. I'm ready to drill the oil cap for the dipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and drill it and tap it for a quarter inch 20 bolt and use that bolt as my oil dipstick. Now I'm going to go ahead and face into this oil cap and personalize it a little bit. Piece of leather. This long quarter inch 20 bolt is going to act as my oil dipstick. I know my high oil mark is going to be right at the bottom of the jam nut there. My low oil mark is going to be right here. I line it up with the other dipstick. I'll just cut a groove in the lathe to indicate that point permanently. I'll put my O-rings on. This is a deactivated uh, shell casing primer. You always want to check it with a hammer. Make sure it don't pop off. If that thing was live, 
It'd be really, really loud. Nickel choppers ink, cut off shell casings to go in the oil cap. You got a primer in there, push the shell casing in, pull the lever, and there you are. They use some red bearing race retainer. 